Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet. Uh, back with another video about HappyJS, a node framework. Uh, for anybody that hasn't been following this series, uh, feel free to go check them out on CodePlanet.io on the video section, or follow me on YouTube uh, at CodePlanet. Um, so this is the fourth one in the series. Uh, we talked about how to download and install it in the first one, um, how to do routing in the second one, and then how to serve static content in the third one. Uh, and so today we're going to be talking about a, a pretty big one, uh, which is how to do views. Um, and specifically how to get set up with something like handlebars, um, which will allow you to pass variables, like pass data, into your HTML. So it gives your HTML like a little bit of a dynamic quality. Um, and it's going to be probably the biggest one we've done. So if you kind of haven't been following along, I would recommend doing that now. Um, but yeah, otherwise, let's just get started. Um, so again, I've got over here in the terminal this like very, very basic happy app. Uh, I can actually remove even this and this from last time. Uh, and so like all we really need here are um, our package.json, which we got from just doing an npm init. And then I did an npm install happy dash dash save. So happy is our only dependency here. And then we have this index.js file. And this is just very, very, very basic. It's a new happy server on port 3000, and it has one route, which is the home route, and it just replies with hello world. Uh, so that's really all we've got going on here. So if we go ahead and run this with node, uh, and then go back over into the browser and hit node 3000, just hello world. That's really all this does. And so what we're going to kind of accomplish today is we're going to get a nice templating system set up where we could have... Uh, some HTML that maybe has a few pieces of dynamic content in it, like maybe a first name and a last name or something like that. Um, and we'll kind of start seeing how this will be a really, really clean way of organizing your code. Uh, for those that haven't done templating before, it's really that, you know, if you just have these static files, uh, it'd be really hard to get any dynamic content like the user's name. Uh, and if and if you do it completely dynamically in JavaScript, it becomes kind of a mess where you're like making all this, you know, HTML. Like you could uh, go into your index here and reply like, you know, something like hello, and then instead of world, you could, uh, you know, es uh, let's see, escape out of JavaScript uh, and add like, you know, um, request params you know, dot name if they pass it or something like that. But then you're going to want some actual HTML around that. So maybe you add like an H1 and like you can already see with even just a simple example, um, you know, that things would get really, really hairy really fast. And so that's kind of what we're trying to avoid here is like starting to string together uh, some spaghetti code like this, which as you can probably imagine, if you need like 10 variables and a lot of HTML is going to get like really, really ugly really fast. Um, so cool. So we're going to do a couple of things here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of revert this back for now. All right. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to include a module. And unlike the ones we've done in the past, uh, this one is included as part of, part of like the Node core uh, library. And so we don't actually have to do an npm install on this one. You'll, you'll already have this one in your system. Uh, so we can do something like var path uh, equals require path. Uh, and that should be good there. And so that's going to kind of help us uh, essentially be able to navigate the file system a lot easier and specify different folders and files, which will come in really useful later. Um, for those of you that watch the static file one, we're going to go back to the same approach, which is we're going to use server.register. Uh, and this is kind of the way that we say that this server needs to be bundled with these plugins. Um, and so before we do that, the plugins that we are going to need are vision, uh, which is going to handle all of our you know ability to kind of create these views uh, and then we're going to use handlebars as kind of our um, you know templating language uh, uh, that we're going to use for you know creating these HTML templates so uh, before we go ahead and start using it let's install them so we'll do npm install dash dash save and we'll do vision now go out and fetch it and then we also need to do an npm install dash dash save handlebars. And so just like we've seen uh, in all the other videos, it's going to go ahead and it's going to put these things like inside node modules. Uh, and then also if you go into your package.json, you'll see now that instead of just happy that we had at the beginning of the video, uh, we've got handlebars in here and vision marked as dependencies. 
Uh, okay, cool. So with that all set up, we're going to go back into our index.js file. And like I was talking about before, we're going to do something like server.register. And here's where we tell Happy that we're going to be building with one of these plugins, which is Vision here. Uh, so register with Vision. And then here comes our web app. And again, you get that error parameter. Uh, so I'm going to open that. And then I'm just going to go down here and close it. And that's closing the server.register. And then just as a visual cue, I'll move this out. So we've got this server register, and it's still got our route just inside now. And so what we can do is we can go ahead and it's always a good idea to just check, you know, if there was an error, uh, just throw the error. Um, there's a lot more you can do around that. And I might make a video about handling errors and logging and things like that. But for now, just at least be listening for it and throwing it and not trying to serve routes if there was an error with the, with the server register. Um, okay, cool. So we've got that, we've got our route, um, and let's just test it out because we should be seeing the exact same functionality if we go back here and refresh. Because so I haven't really changed anything yet. Um, if we go and look, we can see that I'm just registering it with this ability to do views, but I haven't done any views yet. So here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Uh, and I think we should write the code in the index and then it won't work. And then we'll go ahead and make it work by adding the files that we need and changing the routes. So. We're going to register another thing, and this one is called server.views. Uh, it's a function that takes in an object, just like server.route. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close that out. And what this takes is a few different things. It wants to know what templating engine we're going to be using. And specifically, because you can have multiple templating languages for multiple different languages, uh, it takes key value pairs in an object. So we want to say, like, for HTML, we are going to be using handlebars. And here's where we'll do our require handlebars, uh, which we npm installed a little bit ago. Um, so we've got that. And then it's also got a few other things. We can set it to do relative paths with this relative to key. Uh, and then dir name is just kind of a magic constant that you can use, which gets your current projects directory. Uh, and then the last thing is it's usually a good idea to separate your templates out into a separate folder. So you can have like, you know, a folder of your JavaScript code and then a folder of your HTML templates. Um, so it kind of wants to know what path it should be looking in for these templates. Uh, and really, really common would be to just use something like the word templates here. Okay. So got a couple of things going on here, right? We're saying that we're using handlebars to render our HTML. And uh, we're saying this relative path of templates is going to be where we're going to keep everything. And so what we kind of want to start thinking about is instead of um, before, like if we go up here on line 17, uh, what we've done up until this point is very, very simply uh, done a reply with a string, uh, which has gotten us really far. And we've seen that you can put HTML in the string, which gets us even further. But we're going to do something different right now, which is use one of these templates. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. And instead of just a reply, we're going to do a reply.view. And instead of a string, we're going to pass in the name of the view that we're going to create. So reply view with index. Um, and that should be good. So let's go ahead and save it. Like I said, this won't work because we haven't set it up yet. Um, but if we run node, it'll start up the server. It's just not able to find that index template, right? So let's go back over to our code. Uh, we can see right over here, view file not found index. And then it's even great. It shows us what directory it was looking at, right? Which is like happy video slash template slash index.html. So really helpful errors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and control C out of here. I'm going to make der a templates folder. And then I'm going to CD into that templates folder. And I'm going to uh, make a new file called index.html. And to start off here, we'll just say hello world. And actually, let's just put it in uh, some H1s. I'm really just doing this to distinguish from the string hello world that we had when we started everything. Uh, so if we go ahead and we node that now, let's see, can't find module videos, happy templates. Ah, sorry, I was uh, doing node from inside the templates folder. So we go ahead and node now. We've got this going, and I refresh, and we have our H1. So just to kind of cover what's going on right now, we've got uh, our get request comes in on 14 to the home path, and we reply, but instead of sending text, we send a view, which is index, and we know what to do with views, which is use handlebars on them and look inside the templates folder relative to our root directory. So that's kind of how this all ties together. Uh, I can just kind of pause here for a second on the code. I just kind of want to run through it with anybody because it's a little bit complicated before we get to the next part. 
um, register it with the plugin, check for an error, we have our route which sends a view, and then we have our views all set up down in here. Uh, and then down here we just have like normal server start. So here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Let's say that we want to pass some variables into our um, handlebars code, which is something that we're definitely going to want to do at some point. Um, let's say for now we just kind of make one up uh, and then we'll do a little bit more of an advanced technique in a second. So the view takes a second parameter. The first one is what file name to look for. And then the second one is just a JavaScript object. And in that JavaScript object, you can pass any key values that you want. So we can do like name and then the value John, something like that. Uh, and then we'll close that out here. Uh, so we're calling index and we're passing in name as John. And this is pretty cool because what it allows us to do is go inside this template index here. Um, and then we have all of a sudden we have access to John under the name variable. So it basically every key value you pass into that object, the key turns into a variable and the value stays the, the value there. Uh, and the way that you call it is with these double mustaches like this. Uh, so you can do an H2 with name in it. Uh, and if we go ahead and save that, and then node, oops, node again, uh, we can see hello world John. So this is pretty cool. Um, we can do a bunch of stuff like that and it's really great because you can have like a ton of markup going um, and then just have a few spots where you can get, um, you know, use any kind of variables. So you have these kind of like dynamic pieces of HTML, which is really, really useful. So the last thing that I kind of want to cover is um, just really showing off kind of the dynamic nature of it. So let's take this route and let's make another one. And we'll call this one get, and then we'll go with our example from the routing video that I made. We'll do users slash, and then you pass in a username. Uh, and now we can, instead of name John, uh, which is just kind of hard coded, we might as well have done that in the HTML, we can do a uh, name equals, uh, and then, you know, request dot params dot username. The one thing I'm just going to do here just to make things cleaner, we had talked about in this other one. Um, so let's do like var name equals, and then we want to make sure we're secure by um, encode URI component. Hope I spelled all that right. On request dot params dot username. Uh, so now we've got our name that we're going to be pulling out of there and sanitizing to make sure it's safe. And then we can just pass name in here. Um, and instead of using the index, let's use a new one that we'll make called user. Um, we'll come back to that if that breaks in a second. And then inside our templates folder, now we're going to create a new one called user.html. Uh, and we'll do like, you know, just some stuff like an h1 that says welcome to our site. Uh, h1. And then we'll do like, you know, an h2 that says it looks like your name is, and then with our little doubles again, we'll do, uh, I think we just called it name still, uh, and then we'll end that H2. Let's see how we're looking now. So we'll run node on it, looks good. We still got our hello world John over here, but if we go to like users John, we've got welcome to our site, it looks like your name is John. Uh, and so anything I put in here, you know, it's still gonna be using the same HTML, um, uh, which is pretty cool. So I think that's a really good introduction to all this stuff. Uh, they have some really good docs on happyjs.com if you're looking to get into it more. Um, but this is kind of the basics that you'll be going for. You've got your main index.js uh, file, uh, and then you've got this templates folder, which you can kind of like fill out with all these great uh, HTML templates that you want. Um, and handlebars allows for a lot of cool stuff too. Like you can for you can do like a for loop, so you could pass in. Um, an array of items and then you could iterate over them like make a list item out of each one um, a ton of other stuff you can do but this is a really really solid structure for building a node app with happy JS I uh, hope you enjoyed and if there's anything specifically that you're looking to see uh, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to record a video thanks